statistics and excel correlation calculation with strange result get ready taking a deep breath holding it in for 10 seconds looking forward to a smooth soothing excel here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank worksheet. But if you do have access, there's three tabs down below. Example, practice blank. Example, in essence, answer key. Practice tab, having pre-formatted cells so you can get to the heart of the practice problem. The blank tab, it's a blank worksheet so we can practice formatting these cells within Excel as we work through the practice problem. Let's go to the example tab to get an idea of where we will be going, what we will be doing. We're looking at correlations once again, two different data sets to see if there's a mathematical relationship or correlation between them. Are the data points moving in alignment with each other to some degree? And if there is a mathematical relationship, the next logical question would be, is there a cause and effect relationship? If there is a cause and effect relationship, the next logical question would be, what is the causal factor in that relationship? This time we're looking at some two generic data sets with few data points so we can focus in on the heart of what we're looking at, which is the unusualness of the results of this particular scenario. And we'll do our normal kind of calculations for the correlation and we'll get a result that's a little bit less than what we would expect from it. The point being that we can't depend totally on any kind of statistics or one statistical calculation generally. We still have to, to analyze uh, what is happening so that we can get the most out of whatever data that we are looking at. So let's go back to the blank tab and build this out. So I'm going to first format the entire worksheet by selecting the triangle up top, right-clicking on the selected cells. We're going to format those cells as we do every time. I like to make it currency, negative numbers bracketed, and red. No dollar signs, no decimals to start off with. We're doing our generic data. I'm going to say control up and scroll in a bit. Generic data, so I'm just going to call it X and Y. X and Y. Let's make the whole thing bold too, because I like to work. I like to be bold, not all the time, but just when home tab font group bold when you're recording. That's what the, that's what my producer tells me. Got to be you got to be bold when you're when you're doing your screencast. So we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the home tab. Let's go to the home tab alignment center. This. Let's also hit the drop down and make this black and white. All right, and then so there we have it, and I can make them all skinnier. Let's make these skinnier too. We don't need it that wide because we're just going to have some numbers in there, and then we'll list this thing out. So the first data set is just going to be one, two, three, four, five, and then zero, and the second data set is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and seven. So if you were to look at these two data sets and you're trying to say, is there a mathematical relationship between them? Just looking at the two data sets, you would say, well, it looks like kind of they are moving together uh, for a, a, a much, of the, much of the process here. So that would be our, our general sense if we were just to like, take a look at the data. Let's do the calculations with it. Let's make a skinny C over here. Skinny C, there it is. And let's copy over the X and the Y headers. X tab, this equals the Y tab format paint let's just format paint this one over home tab clipboard format painter paint that on over here and do our mean calculation and our standard d and so this is first one's going to be equal to the average just like we've seen before so i'll do it fairly quickly because this is not new stuff if you've seen some of our prior practice problems on this and if you haven't then you should go take a look because they are excellent and then we go to the home tab we go to the number group let's decimalize this thing let's just copy it to the right this time with the fill handle drag in that fill handle to the right which will format it and give us the relative formula let's do the standard d now standard d for the sample standard d dot s so this is going to be tab picking up the x data control shift down enter decimalizing it home tab number group decimalize fill handle grabbing that fill handle dragging the fill handle to the right and the standard d for y calculating as you can see let's go ahead and select these two cells up top and skinnerize them skinnerizing the cell and then we will copy over our correlation formula so we'll do our correlation calculation 
right here so we'll bring this down and put it right there so we can see what we are doing and